Well, good day, good day, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. And today we're going downtown. I got my new condenser microphone because over time I'm slowly hoping to uh, improve the quality of my videos so that you guys will enjoy watching them more. And this is sort of the first step in that direction by getting a nice, high-quality microphone so that you guys can hear what I'm saying with some uh, decent clarity. So let's get going. And something else that I need to mention is that uh, Kiwi Car Life just crossed 100 subscribers, everybody. So that's pretty awesome. And I really just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's subscribed and everyone who watches my videos. Um, I really appreciate it. And even though this channel is only tiny at the moment, hopefully someday it'll be a lot bigger and I'll be producing really, really good quality content because that is, of course, the end goal. Now I should explain that a 100 subscriber special video is on its way, it's in the pipeline. Me and my friends are going out to record it next week as part of something I'm doing at school called an active learning project. Basically we get two days off our timetable to do some kind of project or something uh, to develop a skill in some area other than you know maths and science and boring stuff like that. So it's in the pipeline, it'll be out sometime late next week, probably on the weekend. Um, and it's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the video is going to be titled Why do we enjoy driving? And it's going to be a really nice sort of cinematic and thought-provoking, hopefully, video um, Just about some pretty awesome stuff. So I hope you enjoy that when it comes out. Anyway, let's uh, go and get this microphone How's my driving? 0800 NZ forces Well, so far your driving's going pretty good, Mike Right, well here we are. Now we just gotta find a park. In fact, you know what? Right in here. Next to this guy, because it won't be long. Oh no, school children. There's times like this when it's really awkward talking to a camera. Because people just think you're an absolute weirdo. Nothing to see here, just some dude. Looking around with his scooter. Well, it would appear that by a whisker it didn't fit. So on the floor it goes. Oh, someone's got a noisy scooter. Now when I'm saying, please do not fall off, because I don't think it's covered under warranty. Oh, holding it. Don't fall off. Poor man. I think this is the most sketchy riding I've ever done in my life. Which is not good, because I'm in Wellington, which is very busy and big and terrifying and I don't like it. Okay, right. Well, the other thing I need to get while I'm out is a suction mount for my GoPro. Um, I'm going to be using that a lot in my 100 subscriber special video. And I've just got to find a park. And the next problem is how on earth am I going to hide this microphone? <laughs> Everything seems fine so far. It's a very nice P70Z right there. Oh yeah, let's hope we can make it home with no calamities. Okay, everything's still going all good. Oh, hello there. Hello, Scooter. Oh my giddy aunt, he is all over the place. We mustn't lose losing to a scooter means second place and that's not okay we're gonna beat him feel the power man he's in like a tuck and everything he's obviously in a big rush Goodness, what is he doing holy he rides aggressively i would never ride like that that's crazy macaronis this guy is all over the place changing lanes 
we must keep up with them. Oh, I think he's turning off. Lost the bet. Lost the bet. Come on, he's about to do it. There it is. Called it. Called it. See you, mate. Against me, still nipping up the inside. Please don't kill yourself on the road because at the moment, with your bare legs and aggressive riding style, you're really not far from it, my friend. Train tracks plus high speed equals disaster when you're carrying a fragile package. Ah! Oh dear, that was a big bump. And another one. Holy moly. The package just seems to be okay. I think we're all good. Okay, safe route or fun route? Well, I'm thinking so far nothing's gone wrong. We've managed to get rid of the train tracks, so I'm thinking fun route. Here we go, boys. Leaning in, giving it the beans. Goodness me, someone obviously horribly missed that corner there. I don't know if you saw that. Giant tire mark, like right over the middle of the road there. Over the train tracks as well. Normally I'd be blasting over there at full speed, and this time we decided to slow down a little bit. Package is still okay. Okay, boys. Ooh, we made it home. No problems whatsoever. The microphone is still in perfect condition. Now let's check it out. And here it is, the Rode NT USB uh, condenser microphone. Let's take a look inside. So inside the box, we've got some uh, protection foam, a microphone stand, the cables, and they have a leather pouch containing an I love Rode microphone sticker and the instruction manual. And this was also used to uh, hold the microphone when you travel. In the next part, we have the microphone itself. Looks like that. It has a little uh, USB cap in the bottom. It has a nice pop shield. And the condenser microphone itself is here. On the side, you've got a fader for between uh, the direct sound of the microphone and whatever is coming through your computer, because after all, that's USB, it connects to your computer. And this is the volume of the headphone output. So this here is the unit itself. So on the bottom you have the USB port. On the side, as I said, there's the uh, headphone jack, headphone volume and the fader. And it fits nicely in this pouch here. Like so. So you can transport it and it'll be kept nice and safe in there. So now we'll plug it in and see how it sounds. So this is what the microphone sounds like um, when you're just speaking through it. And as you can tell it's very crisp, very clear, and that's the kind of sound that you're always going to get with a um, condenser microphone. So for comparison I'm just going to go and get a traditional microphone and show you how that sounds. So this is what it sounds like coming through a traditional microphone and as you can hear it's quite sort of muffled and uh, sort of low quality. Then again this mic that I have here is um, not a particularly good mic but it's what I've been using for quite a lot of the voiceovers in some of my videos um, and so it'll be very good now that I get to use the other one because it sounds a lot better. So I would definitely recommend this microphone for anyone who's looking to do um, some kind of voiceovers or definitely for people singing, song artists, things like that. It's a really, really fantastic microphone um, and it's good value as well because condenser microphones like these are not cheap and this one was um, $270 on sale, which is really quite a good price for a mic that sounds this good. And so yeah, thanks for watching this Kiwi Car Life episode and I'll see you guys next time.